Hi, this is Kai Wehner with Confluent. In this video, I want to show you a case study for modernizing SCADA systems. This is something which more or less every manufacturer has to do over time. One example we have in the public is from 50 Hertz. They are working in the energy sector in Germany. Check their case study out down in the description. And now let's take a look at the use case. Every manufacturer has SCADA systems. This is in the end the OT infrastructure that you run in your factory. And as you know better than me, it's monolithic, it's proprietary, it's inflexible, and it's not scalable. But that's how the world worked in the last years. And that has to change because in the end there is two business goals behind that at manufacturers. And that includes obviously like here, the energy sector. Number one, improve the overall equipment effectiveness. This means keep your systems running in the production line. Safety is critical, but still it could never go down. And therefore we need to reduce the cost and the risk for such an infrastructure. But in the same way, we need to automate it more and more and it needs to be more scalable. So with this, there comes innovation. Let's take a look at how 50 Hertz solved this problem by modernizing and re-engineering their SCADA infrastructure. What they have done is pretty interesting. So they leverage development principles and best practices from other industries for their OT IT integration. So what you see here in the end is a container infrastructure. With that, it's possible to add new components easily, step by step. And the heart of this infrastructure is data streaming so that you can always provide access to the data when it's needed, very often in real time, but sometimes still in batch or maybe via request response. So the data is flowing in once from the OT side, the robots, the PLCs, the production line, and then you provide access to the data to other systems. Not all of these systems are real time, like a data lake for the analytics. This is just one modern component you add here. But the great news is then, you can also replace existing systems. So as one example, you have still integrated your legacy system, which is more a big monolithic system. You cannot change it anymore. But still, it works for now. But in the future, because you need the big scale for continuously integrating more and more sensor data, you need to replace that. So what you're doing, you're developing a new infrastructure and application for that, which is more agile and elastic. It's cloud native. To modernize such an existing monolith, you can redevelop it with cloud native technologies. They can communicate with each other or share data with the streaming hub so that you can also share data with other applications again. This is the big benefit of using data streaming instead of point-to-point -point connections. And with this now, you have more decoupled applications that can continuously run in parallel to the monolith. But then over time, you can also shut it down and replace it with new technologies. And this is exactly how you can rebuild an existing monolithic SCADA system with new cloud native technologies and share the data between each other with data streaming. So last but not least, this is of course a journey. Such a journey takes time. So you cannot do a big bang from an existing SCADA system to a cloud native world. So you take step by step and choose your application that you either just integrate with the modern world or that you also replace over time. The great thing about data streaming is that you can do this at your own pace. You glue together and you connect new applications. And this can either run close to the edge in the OT infrastructure, even in a factory, or you do all of this new innovation in the cloud where it's fully managed and only connect that to your OT infrastructure like a robot or any other system. For example, with technologies like OPC UA or MQTT. You have seen an example here where an existing monolithic SCADA architecture is modernized. You can do this totally in the cloud or still deploying at the edge in your OT environment or having hybrid scenarios. Data streaming enables you to glue together your systems and share data with other systems and you can deploy where you need. And this is the flexibility. And the heart of the infrastructure is real-time and scalable. And this with open APIs in mind so that you can really connect to any other system or software, no matter it's an open source, if it's proprietary, or if it's another cloud service. So you have seen a great example in the energy sector 
where a monolithic SCADA system was modernized with cloud native and open technology. You can do the same no matter if you're running in the cloud only or if you're having hybrid edge and scenarios. This is totally up to you. So I hope you learned a lot. And with that, feel free to take a look into the description where we share several case studies and where you can learn more. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe to the Confluent channel. And with that, thanks for watching. This is Kai Werner from Confluent. Mm -hmm.